Welcome to the studio. Today, we're going over the latest addition to Creality's lineup, the K1SE. Now, I've already tested the K1 and the K1C, and it seems that this new K1SE is basically the same printer minus its enclosure. There are so many questions about this release. Do we need another enclosed Core XY machine? Are enclosed 3D printers any better? And is this a good reason to buy this one over the others? Well, today we're gonna to go over the pros and the cons of enclosed versus unenclosed Core XY 3D printers and figure out if the cost savings makes the K1SE worth it. So let's start with the basics. The K1SE is part of Creality's popular K1 lineup, and at first glance, it's pretty similar to its siblings. The same 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter build volume, same 600 millimeter speed, and it's nearly identical in features. Like other K-series printers, the SE goes from box to printing in less than three minutes. It's really fast. It arrives fully assembled, and it's ready to go. It's one of the best out-of-box experiences that exists right now. If you go back six months, nine months, or a year ago on this channel, you will see me talking about the user experience in 3D printing and how important it is. It starts with the website and it follows through to the email order confirmation that you get, to the shipping box that arrives, and how you unpack it and unbox it. And that is so important if we want 3D printing to grow and, uh, and become staples in homes. These have to be like appliances. And I told you that these companies would be changing. And Creality, no doubt, they have really stepped up their game with how these machines are delivered and the way that these are packaged and the unboxing experience. I'm not kidding when I said three minutes. It is so fast. It is pull it out of the box, remove some shipping retention screws, and power it on. And the beautiful wizard that starts it up, I'm telling you, things are changing and in a good way. When it comes to print quality and the overall printing experience, the K1SE delivers just like its siblings. The print quality is fantastic, it's consistent, it's sharp, and of course the printers are reliable. Now honestly, it's identical um, as you'd expect to what you would get as far as the prints and the results uh, from the more expensive K1 and K1C alternatives. Creality has really shifted its entire trajectory with the K-Series, stepping up in every single way. The build quality of these printers is top tier, something that we used to only expect from much higher end machines. This is a solid, heavy, well-built machine, just minus the enclosure. Plus, the slicing experience is just so good now, and the remote management for Creality machines are now some of the best in the industry. They've made it incredibly easy uh, to control all of your printers from anywhere, and it's just another reason that the K-Series is a game changer for Creality. Really changing things. Okay, the big and obvious difference between the K1SE and the others, it's basically just the enclosure. But here's where the question really comes in. Does it matter? Let's take a moment and talk about enclosures. Enclosures serve a couple of major purposes. First, uh, they help with temperature control, which is especially useful when printing with more temperature sensitive materials like ABSs, ASAs, and nylons. Enclosed printers maintain a more stable printing environment, which reduces warping and ensures better adhesion. If you're printing with PLA or PTG, you might not notice a big difference, but for high temp materials, it is pretty crucial. Another benefit of enclosures is safety and keeping the heat contained and preventing accidental burns um, or other mechanical you know, related injuries, especially in a workplace where there are pets and children, um, that's important. And let's not forget about air quality. That's something that's come up and it's pretty popular and I know a little something about that because I myself had ASA poisoning. Some filaments, especially ABS, ASA, and others, release harmful VOCs during printing. Enclosures help contain those fumes and with proper filtration can improve air quality in your workspace. This is really important, uh, particularly if you're printing in a smaller, uh, poor ventilated space. So, if enclosures are useful, why release unenclosed versions of 3D printers? Well, that's really where the price comes in. The K1SE is designed to come in at a much lower price point compared to the K1 and the K1C alternatives. By ditching the enclosure, Creality is targeting users who don't necessarily need the feature, but still want the performance of a Core XY machine, and even potentially upgrade at a later point. If you're primarily printing with PLA, you'll likely have the enclosure open most of the time anyway to prevent heat creep, print failures, and extruder jams, since PLA doesn't need the controlled environment uh, that other filaments require. And that's not a negative. My very first 3D printer, uh, $5,000 machine, had to have the lid off and the door open in order to print PLA. PLA is just a very sensitive filament. All right, now let's break down the pros and the cons of an enclosure on a 3D printer, starting with the pros. One, 
As I mentioned earlier, the K1 SE is more affordable. You're getting the same high speed printing, the same print quality, and the same build size at a lower price. Two, open design. With the enclosure, the printer is easier to access. Uh, swapping filament, adjusting the bed, or cleaning the print surface is a much quicker and more convenient job. Plus, it's lighter, uh, which can be kind of an advantage if you're moving these things around a lot. And in print farms, this can be especially useful. Um, less hardware in the way for maintenance and repairs. And three, good for low temperature materials. If you are sticking with PLA, PTG, or TPU, you won't even miss the enclosure. Although... It, it does help a little bit with PLA, right? And in PTG, you, you'll get better, more consistent results if you do have one. Now the cons. Temperature sensitivity. Without an enclosure, you're gonna have a harder time when it comes to materials like ABS or ASA or nylon. Those require a more controlled environment and without an enclosure, you will absolutely see warping, poor layer adhesion, or just constant failing prints. Two, safety. The open frame means that the hot end and bed are exposed, so you'll need uh, to be more mindful of burns or accidents if you're in a busy workspace. And three, noise and fumes. Enclosures can help trap noise and contain fumes from certain filaments. Without that, the K1SE might be a little louder, and uh, printing with certain materials might produce some unpleasant smells, uh, maybe even some unhealthy ones as well. So, who is this printer really for then? It's for those who primarily print with materials like PLA, PTG, and TPU, and are looking to save some cash by not paying for the features that they won't use, you get kind of a streamlined machine. You can still print with more advanced materials, mind you, if your environment is controlled at a different level. Um, like, for instance, enclosed shelves or very enclosed uh, environments and rooms, um, like print farms. Also, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some comparison videos with this K1SE. We can compare against the K1, of course, and the K1C, but we can also compare against the Bamboo Lab P1P um, or even the Two Trees SK1 or other skeletonized 3D uh, printers. So let me know if you think that will be super helpful and uh, I think they'll be uh, popular videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a ton more content coming on these machines and uh, you won't want to miss it, so hit that bell too. No, seriously, do it. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Helps out a lot. Now, is it worth owning all three? The K1, the K1C, and the K1SE? Honestly, probably not. If you already own a K1 or K1C, um, then you already have an enclosure for ABS and other high temp materials. The K1SE might not add much value because you can just open the door or remove the lid on those other machines. But if you do want a streamlined machine, um, something simple that's just gonna be dedicated for PLAs, or PTGs, then the K1SE is a strong choice. And the simple truth, 99% um, of owners of 3D printers print with PLA. And there's a little small uh, extra percentage or so that print with PTG, some with TPU. But people who print with ABS and ASA are a lot more rare. And so that's why this machine really truly exists. It is a machine that will appeal to 99% of 3D printer owners. All right, now we'll wrap up with some final thoughts here. Creality has given us a lot of options, especially recently. And enclosed or unenclosed, depending on your needs, the K1SE is a great addition to their lineup. And for many users, the cost savings alone is uh, what's going to make this printer worth considering. When it comes to the price, the K1SE comes in at $359, which is about $40 less, I think, than the enclosed K1 at $399, and a full $140 less than the more feature-packed K1C at $499. And that one comes ready for printing with like polycarbonate and, and carbon fiber filled filaments and things like that. So if you're looking to save some cash while still getting that Core XY performance, then the K1SE um, is definitely your more budget-friendly option. Now, let me know in the comments if you think unenclosed Core XY machines are the future or if you'd stick with enclosed models. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, you know, down below and hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah. A special shout out to all of our YouTube members and our Patreon supporters. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these K1 machines. We actually have two K1Cs. Well, actually, yeah. But I think one of them we gave away already. Okay, yeah. So we have one of each. But I don't have a K1 Max. Creality. I need a K1 Max or a K2. Send those over. We'll, we'll do th things with them.